But we give God thanks. Because he has been with us. So I want you to give him praise. For this wonderful thing that he has done for us. He has given us life. And he has given us strength. Many people desired to be in this position. But they are not. Not because they are worse than us, but because of God's mercy. God's mercy. So thank him. Thank him for your family. Thank him for good night rest. Thank him because if not God, we would not be here. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him all. We give him all the glory. We give him all. We give him all the glory. We give him all. We give him all the glory. We give him all. Give him all the glory. We give him honor, Jesus. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. I say we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory, Jesus. We give him honor. I say we give him all the glory. We give him honor, Jesus. We give him all the glory, Jesus. We give him honor. I say we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him honor. I say we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. I say we give him all the glory. We give him honor. 
We give him all the glory. Oh, we give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. I wanted to praise him. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. Whatever you're going through, we give him all the glory. We give him honor. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory, Jesus. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. Jesus, we give him honor. I say we give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. Give him honor. We give him all the glory. Give him honor. We give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. Give him honor. Give him all the glory. We give him honor. We give him all the glory. Give him honor. Father, we thank you for your glorious power. Just open your mouth wherever you are. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your glorious power. I thank you because of who you are. I worship your majesty. For you alone is God. And there is no one like you. Who was and is and is to come. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. We're going to read the scripture before we continue in our prayers. Hallelujah. I want you to open your scriptures to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 10. Mark 10. And I'm going to read from from verse 1. The Bible says and he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea by the farther side of Jordan. And the people resort unto him again. And as he 
was, won't. He told them again. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And the twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And in the house, he disciplines, ask him again of the same matter. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another, committed adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committed adultery. And they brought young children to him, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked them, rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come to me and forbid them not, for of such is kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whoever shall receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter. Therein. And he took them up and his arm, put his hands upon them and blessed them. When he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, and that is God. Thou knowest the commandment, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor your father and your mother. And he answered and said unto the master, All this I have observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, <clears throat> and said unto him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell everything, whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor. Thou shalt have treasure in heaven. <clears throat> and come, take up this cross and follow me. And he was sad that, at that saying and went away grieved. He had had great possession. And Jesus looked around about and said unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished at out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus looking upon them and said, With men it is impossible, but with God, for with God all things are possible. And Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all, and hope followed you. Jesus answered and said, Verily I said unto you, There is no man that left house, brother, sister, father, or mother, Wife, children, land for my sake and the gospels. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time. House, brother and sister, mother and children and land with persecutions. And in the world to come, eternal life. Hallelujah. But many that are first shall be last and the last first. And they were with in the way going up Jerusalem, and Jesus went before them and were amazed. They were amazed and they followed. They were afraid. And he took them, the twelve, and began to tell them what things should happen to him. 
So behold, we will go up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man shall be delivered and the chief priest and unto the scribes and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the Gentiles. They shall mock him and shall scourge him and shall spit upon him and shall kill him. And the third day he shall rise again. And James and John, the son of Zebedee, came unto him saying, Master, we would that thou should do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would you that I should do for you? He said unto him, Grant us that <clears throat> we may sit <clears throat> one on your right hand and other in the left in thy glory. Jesus said unto them, You know not what you ask. Can you drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I baptize with? And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, You shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink. And with the baptism I baptize, with all shall you all baptize. But to sit on my right hand or on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. Hallelujah. And when the ten had it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, You know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whatsoever will be great among you shall be your minister. And wherever of you will be the chiefest shall be the servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho, and he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind by Timos, the son of Timos, sat at the highway side begging, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more, a great deal, the son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind, saying unto him, be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou I should do for you? The blind man said unto him, That I might receive my sight. Jesus said unto him, Go your way. Your faith has made you whole. And immediately received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Hallelujah. I took time to read all of this scripture. It's a very long scripture, but we give God the glory for what he has done and the things that we must learn and we must do from this particular verse of the Bible. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. And when we come to God, we must come with the attitude of gratitude, knowing who we are dealing with. Because we lack knowledge and understanding most times we will try to treat God like a man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at this simple story about a man who is a born again. In fact, this man kept the law. He did everything the law requires. And the Bible said that Jesus loved him. Loved him so much. And he said, only one thing that you're lacking. I checked your 
your file and checked everything. You have everything to possess this kingdom. You have it. You respected your mother and your father. You honored them. You made great wealth without defrauding anybody. You never commit adultery or fornication. You never kill. Hallelujah. You did all that. Wonderful. Very integral man. A man of integrity. But the only thing that I, you lack from all my requirements is that you need to sell all your properties. Sell your property in Florida, in New York, in California, in all the cities. Because the man is a wealthy man. Hallelujah. I'm just mentioning this just to bring it home for, to you. For you to understand. He is so, he said, sell everything that you possess. And then come and take up your cross and follow me. Hallelujah. The Bible says that this man was displeased at this saying. What? The wealth that took me many years to build. The businesses that I have established. I have so many servants, people that, my managers, my workers, that make me feel good. Each time I come, they will be calling me the chief owner, CEO, and all kind of name. And then I will sell all this and come to you and follow you with a cross. No, sir. It's not going to happen. He got offended very well. He said, you might, he might even say, because this man has never worked. That's why he's telling me to forget all my properties. And Jesus turned and began to teach the disciples and said, listen, it is easier for a, a camel to go through the eye of a needle. A needle is not the kind of needle that you use to sew your clothes. But it's a kind of door that are very tight, only made for the size of that animal. So you, when you're entering, you go skillfully. It's not any kind of animal that can enter there. When the animal starts growing in size, they will make another needle for him because that particular one can no longer enter. And that is exactly the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God has a narrow gate. When you start growing in size, you cannot enter. Hallelujah. It's a straight gate. It's a kind of gate that you go with the same size every time. Once you start increasing in size, that door cannot enter you. And the Bible says, narratively, about this rich man, he said, it is hard for a rich man to enter. He didn't say it, they cannot enter, but it's hard. The reason is because riches makes you swell up, bring pride, makes you to believe in the wealth instead of God. Hallelujah. Make you to trust. The reason why a rich man will do everything, everything, defraud people, do everything to make sure that he stays on top is because he trusted that riches. The only breath bread that he takes is the riches that he has. And Jesus said it is very hard. Not that it's impossible, but hard. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he said again, when you lose the land, lose your brother, father, mother, for my sake, he said you will get it back in this life. Then you will get it plus persecution. So don't remove persecution. Persecution is imminent. It's not like 
Something that you can pray away. Hallelujah. Even in the church of God. When you have done nothing, people will still talk about you. When you have done something, people will still talk about you. And when you hear what they think, how they think, what they say, you might get offended. But these are persecution. These are prophecies that Jesus Christ has said in the beginning. So don't be surprised that you are in a church and you can say, oh, I did everything. I gave my tight. I was nice. I cook for them every day. I give them my money. I even contribute. In fact, I bought a car for the pastor. I build a house. I do everything. And they still talk bad about me. In fact, they kick me out. Don't be surprised. Because persecution is part of the order. Hallelujah. If it's not coming from your brother, it may come from your sister, it may come from friend, it may come from the one you trusted, or even from the pastor himself. I want you to understand this so that you will not have problem entering into this kingdom. All that you have, you must come to a position to obey totally. Obey totally. When God asks you for something, hallelujah, ask you for something, glory to God, you must bring all Half obedient is equals to disobedient. If God asks you for one dollar, don't give 50 cents. Bring it all because you cannot outgive God. Hallelujah. When God asks you to fast for 20 days, do not fast for 10 days. That is no obedience. You have to obey 100%. And you're going to see the result. Hallelujah. Glory. When God says stand up, don't stoop. <laughs> stand up. When he says move, keep moving until he ask you to stop. Glory to God. This is testing of obedience. Sometimes God will ask you to do some ridiculous things. But it's God. It's not man. Look at what he asked this rich man. Go. That is his requirement. Sell everything. Because Jesus knew that his trust is on those riches. He really wants to know what he can do to inherit this kingdom. But when he was told about how he's going to possess this kingdom, he got offended. Like people get offended. Sometimes when God requires something, when God requires something from you, you get offended. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to pray. But before we pray, I want you to know that as a ministry, we still require as this platform, this particular platform, we still require About $700 to keep this going. It's one time thing. It's not like, I mean, we've been doing it, but we need it. It's a need. And uh, um, God will bless you particularly for this. I'm praying for you. I thank God for those who are responding. Hallelujah. Because we want to keep this going. And is God has been doing amazing things. In fact, sometimes when I get strange calls from different countries of what God is doing, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God. Some people will call from different countries asking, when are you coming? We have been listening and you are part of that encouragement and God will bless you. Some will listen, they will call. We, we, God has done amazing things. When I listen to your prayer, when I listen to what for the message, I, te I tell you. So, God knows 
and they want to make it a blessing for you. That when you sow that seed, God will bless you. God will bless. Sometimes God will put a position to know how we can handle it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I want you to know that this kingdom of God, when God requires something from you, do it and see. The Bible says, test. T-A-S-T-E. Test and see that the Lord is good. Test it. Sometimes you don't grab food and just swallow it. You test it first. Hallelujah. And you see what God can do. Glory to God. Just lift up your hands. Whatever you are. Begin to give God glory. Say, Lord, I want this kingdom. And I also want to be totally obedient to you. Total surrender. Giving all my life to experience the full manifold of the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice. Mighty God, let me respond. Let me be totally obedient. Help me, Lord. Help my family. Help my children to be totally obedient so that we will inherit the kingdom. That's the only thing we can take out of this life. The kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ask God for great understanding. Don't behave like the rich man. Whom God said, Jesus said, sell your things and follow me. He got offended. He said, blessed is he who is not offended by me. Hallelujah. God speaking. I want you to ask God that his word will not be an offense to you. His word will be a life giving substance to you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this prayer. Open your mouth. Lord, as I go about my business of the day, let me understand that you are my life. You are my life, O oh God. You are my breath. I cannot breathe without you. I cannot live without you. And we begin to demand that this kingdom be extended to us, extend to our children, extend to our family, wherever they are this morning. Touch them. Heal them. Touch them. Heal them. Touch them. Convince them about this kingdom. Let them with great understanding that these quarrels and problems will not continue in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is somebody who has been having issues in her workplace. Your workplace is giving you trouble. But right now, as we are praying, the kingdom of God is going to settle that matter. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ask God for his kingdom. Say, Lord, let your kingdom come into me. That every trouble that is set up will be abolished. That the authority of the kingdom will begin to work in my life. Will begin to work in my family. Will begin to work everywhere I go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anything preventing me from entering into this kingdom, we dissolve and destroy. We totally dissolve it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We are going to shout Holy Ghost Fire seven times. The blood of Jesus seven times. Any barrier that has been 
with holding you from entering this kingdom. Fire in the name of Jesus. Decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silence. Mate barato. Bekra malibodos. Yande lebabos. Babre na kito lebabos sakuri masaya. Zeda likaba. Onshe madiangaba. Rebados sabatiganga ya. Lauriba ose kuga. Bahani mataya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We destroy every barrier. Everything that has posed as a stop against me and my family to enter into this kingdom. Against my children, whatever they are. I command by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the fire burn them. Let the fire burn them. We release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire. We release the fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. Just put your hand on your head. I thank you for everyone that will listen to this message. And everyone under the sound of my voice. And every family of God under the spiritual zone. I pray for their protection right now. I cover all of you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your family. I cover your house. I cover your car. No car accident. No gunshot. No fire incident. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, I decree for everyone sick, I command your healing right now. Let the healing power of God touch you, heal you completely, and set you free. Set you free. Set you free. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And I will see you by this time tomorrow. Bye bye. To mute conference participants, press 1. All participants are unmuted. To stop conference recording, press 1. This session is no longer being recorded.